How are you guys doing? You're watching Andy WKH. I'm Andy. Uh, this is Survivor Edition 33 USA uh, player profile. And the next one that's up is uh, Paul Wachter. Uh, anyways, he's from, uh, he's 52 years old. He's going to be one of the pro, and he's one of the oldest on Survivor. Uh, he is, uh, he's from Sugarloaf Keys, Florida. He's a boat mechanic, and he's obviously part of the Generation X. Now, this is very interesting. Uh, let's talk about what three things that describe himself. All right. Uh, he describes himself as a, as a very intimidating looking person, which he is. He's a, really like a very big, big person. Uh, he's a methodological person. So that means he, he's a method to his madness, I suppose. And he's a very confident person. So, you know. Uh, now, the intimidation part of the game, uh, for him, if he looks intimidating, hopefully, he'll. Once people get to know him, he may not. They may not feel as intimidated person. So, or we'll see. Maybe he is intimidated person. We'll see. Now, his hobbies are. Um, he loves singing and rock and roll bands. So he's a, he's a rocker, an old rocker. Uh, um, he loves treasure hunting. And this is going to really be important for him and for the tribe, okay? Is that he loves spear fishing, all right? So if he loves spear fishing, that's going to be a huge asset for him in the game, especially around camp. Because they're going to keep him around because this guy here can go out and spear fish. Not too many people that really can do that, and that's his hobby. So he loves doing it. So we're, I think that's going to help him out a lot in the game. Now, his pet peeves is whiners and slackers. Well, my friend, you're on Survivors. You are going to see whiners and you're going to see slackers. So hopefully you uh, keep in mind that you're there for a million dollars, not there to listen to slackers and, or excuse me, listen to whiners and see slackers slacking around. So if you keep that in mind and use that to his advantage, to, for his value in the game to the rest of the tribe, that will that'll be perfect here. He'll do it well. The only thing, though, I think is going to be his biggest problem in the game, again, is physical capability. Because remember, he is one of the oldest guys there. So they could see him in as in challenges, be uh, if a, not a physical threat, but a physical liability. So that's the only thing. If he can overcome that, I think with his spear fishing and his uh, work around camp, I think he'll be very um, big asset to, to the uh, tribe. Now, uh, do I expect him to win? Uh, probably not. I think I'll, he'll make it to the merger for sure, but he will get voted out sometimes in the game, I think. And he'll be on the, uh, on the uh, jury, for sure. Jury member, absolutely. Now, uh, what the... What does it mean to, to be a generation extra for him? As someone who never received an anticipation award. Oh, okay, well, that's good, I guess. All right. What's his personal claim to fame? Well, this should also help him out in the game because he is, if he uses them for the right reasons, why he's there in the game, that should motivate him. Is that being a father of three beautiful children? So if he keeps that in his mind in the game, he should do well to give him the real reason why he's there. Now, his inspiration of in life is uh, Dave Lee Roth from Van Halen because he was one of the best front men in the world. And, of course, he also shared the same birthday with him. Oh, good. All right, that's good. And what would he bring to the island? Uh, a, uh, some kind of necklace that his dad gave him. And... Uh, a pinky ring that his wife gave him and a bracelet with his kids names on it which is okay that's all right that's cool now who is his favorite uh, survivor contestant of all time Ozzy who doesn't like Ozzy but the only problem with Ozzy is that he never won the game so hope he doesn't model his game after Ozzy that's all I have to say 
And why is he there for? Well, it's for his children, like I said before. Obviously, that's why he's there. He's not there for fame, that's for sure. So, uh, now, will he be able to win the game? How far he'll go? Like I just said earlier, I don't think he's going to actually win the game. He's one of the older guys there. More than the older guys, they have a huge challenge ahead of you, especially in uh, Survivor. So, unless he really pulls a, uh, a real big surprise on me, I don't think he's going to win, but I'm pretty sure he'll make it to the jury. Absolutely. So, anyways, that's my assessment on him. Uh, you watch Andy WTH. I'm Andy. If you want to subscribe to my channel, that'd be great. If you want to have any comments, by all means, do it. If you want to have a like button, that's okay. So, that's about it. So, we'll talk to you later, and thank you for watching.